right, so this is a very straightforward question if you know how to tackle it. What we don't wanna do is get bogged down by too much algebra. So we know that in both these situations, if I plug in a value for X, it'll make both of these equations equal zero. That means that X has to be one of the solutions from this equation and one of the solutions from this equation. Well, what values could I plug into the first equation to set X times two X plus one equal to zero? The two options are I plug in a zero here, that would wipe out this side, or I make this side equal zero, and that would mean that X would be one half, because two times, or negative one half rather, because two times negative one half will give a negative one, plus one will wipe out this interior of the parentheses and make it zero. So think about those two options, which of those will make this side zero? Well, if I plug in zero, I'll get positive one half here, and I will get negative three here, which means I don't get a zero, so I can't wipe out this entire side to set the whole thing equal to zero. But if I plug in negative one half over here, it will wipe out the entire thing by making this side equal zero. So negative half is our answer, and that gives us answer choice B.